The Fox 54 Weather Now Tower Cam Network, sponsored by Brighter Side Roofing. We had a beautiful sunset over Evans Town Center for this evening and heading in to the late 6 o'clock hour into 7 p.m. We're still seeing partly clear skies at this time. It is a very nice evening, much more warm than it was yesterday. Temperatures are into the 40s, 41 in Aiken, 44 in Millen and 43 in Swainsboro. Yesterday at this time we were seeing temperatures in it to the upper 30s, even into the lower 30s. Now we're seeing dew points still dry into the six o'clock hour. 28 in Millen, 26 in Waynesboro for a dew point, and 24 in Washington. So overall, it's a dry evening as well as partly cloudy. We're starting to see those clouds really move into the area. It's going to become more overcast as the night moves on. We do have a lake wind advisory in effect until Friday at 10 p.m. So it's going to remain somewhat breezy heading into the next day and even into the weekend. We do have up towards the north a winter weather advisory. This isn't for our viewing area, but everyone across the entire United States is seeing the effects of this Arctic cold blast moving through. So you can see all of those advisories up towards the north. That's a wind chill advisory right there for Tennessee and even northern Alabama and Mississippi. So everyone's seeing these cooler conditions and we're going to see them heading into Sunday. That's going to be our big cold day. And here is a look at the entire United States temperatures into the teens, even into the single digits, four degrees in Lexington by Friday, 10 degrees in Kansas City. And then as we make our way to the southeast, this is where we really start to see it is by Sunday morning temperatures into the teens, 17 degrees in Atlanta Sunday morning, 22 in Albany and 19 degrees in Macon. For us here, temperatures are going to start to get cooler tonight, but really start to get cooler by Sunday morning. So we have an alert day in effect for Sunday morning temperatures into the teens. Tonight, 35 degrees in Waynesboro, 36 on Fort Eisenhower, and 35 in Thompson. We're going to drop down to a low of 34 degrees, so we're all staying above freezing for this evening. And 30% chance of showers are going to be moving in about 11.30 p.m. for this evening. Misting conditions will follow a couple of stray showers here and there. And for tomorrow, a high of 53 degrees. It's going to warm up just a bit. Early morning showers definitely prevalent until about 5 a.m. Then they're going to move on out. Sunny in skies and breezy is what we're going to monitor the rest of the day. Winds anywhere from 10 to 15 miles an hour. And gusts could be up to about 25 miles per hour. Here's a look at the 48-hour future cast. We'll monitor it more hour to hour. A couple of stray showers really moving in towards the north by 2 a.m. They're going to move on out by about 5 a.m. tomorrow. You can see they slowly dissipate and then very rapidly the clouds move on out for sunny skies. So that's going to be nice heading into this weekend. It's going to be cold, but it's going to also be sunny. So that's kind of the silver lining that we get with that. And then another system will be moving into the area by Thursday and even Wednesday. That'll be um, the beginning of those scattered showers. Here's a look at the next three days. We're seeing sunny skies, 41 degrees for a high on Saturday. And believe it or not, that is the high temperature. 16 degrees for the low that evening, as well as heading into Sunday morning, which is a Fox 54 weather now alert day. Sunny skies until Wednesday. Once again, temperatures returning into the 70s. A very dramatic difference in those temperatures. Here's our weather picture of the day from Lincolnton, Georgia. Clay S., thank you so much for your submission. A photo of from my porch in Lincoln County. Look at those colors. You, can, you too can submit your photos on WFXG.com.